Introducing HandFusion, an innovative device that provides stable fixation of a PIP joint while allowing for the fusion angle needed to continue normal daily activity. HandFusion combines the superior compression of the Extremafix headless screw with one-of-a-kind variable angle locking technology of the HPS system. The highly polished plates are low profile and have rounded edges to reduce dorsal prominence and soft tissue irritation. The system includes the first cannulated compression screw with locking capabilities. The fusion screw can lock up to 18 degrees from center, allowing for fusion of the joint at a natural resting angle. Osteomed's hand plating system provides everything needed to treat the personality of the fracture. For those patients requiring arthrodesis, the unique angle of the hand fusion plates provides the added ability to resume normal daily activity. Still, one system, endless possibilities. Expose the joint by making an incision dorsally on the proximal side of the joint. Remove the damaged joint surfaces. Cut the distal bone perpendicular to the dorsal surface. Angle the proximal bone cut to the angle of the fusion desired. A cup and cone technique can also be used. Drive an 045 K wire into the distal bone axially to create a guide channel. Remove K wire from the distal bone. From the center of the joint, drive the 045 K wire into the proximal bone perpendicular to the joint surface. Retrograde the K-wire into the channel of the distal bone and reduce joint. Use the goniometer to confirm the angle of the fusion. With the reamer marked for your fusion angle, ream over the K-wire until the distal tip surface is cutting the bone. The low profile plate has rounded edges and is designed to sit in the recess of the bone created by the reamer. Place the plate. Place a screw in the proximal shaft of the plate using the 1.6 mm or 2.0 mm instrumentation from the HPS system. Solid core locking, non-locking and lag screws can be used in the shaft of the plate. Insert an 035 K wire across the joint. Check the angle, positioning and K wire depth under fluoroscopy. Measure for the fusion screw by sliding the cannulated depth gauge over the K wire until the tip reaches the plate. For dense bone, drill over the K wire through the transfix hole. Use a drill guide to protect the plate and assure the ability to lock the screw. Reference the length measured and place the appropriate fusion screw. This screw is cannulated and will lock into the plate when fully tightened. Reduce the joint before inserting the screw to ensure maximum compression. Firmly hold the distal bone when locking the screw to prevent malrotation. Fill remaining screw holes with solid core screws from HPS.